And now I'd like to bring up Sarah Postal from the Global Water Policy Project with one great idea. Sarah? Sandra. Sandra, sorry about <laughs> okay, that. Thank you. Thanks, John. Good afternoon, everyone. So by now, I'm sure most of us have heard the predictions about water, that water will be to the 21st century what oil was to the 20th, that water scarcity will lead to food shortages, ecological decline, maybe, maybe even wars. Last year, as many of you I'm sure know, the World Economic Forum declared water crises to be the top global threat to society over the next decade. But here's the thing. While our human story will be shaped to no small degree by water, the narrative of that story is still being written, right? It's being written every day by the choices we make about how we use and manage and value and even think about fresh water. So what I'd like to talk about today is an initiative we can all be part of to change the course of our water future for the better. More than 30 companies, many of them here, have already joined us. Nearly a quarter of a million people have already joined us. And before we talk about how this works, let's just think for a second about what this fresh water challenge is all about. This iconic photograph taken by the Apollo 8 astronauts nearly half a century ago showed us very clearly that we're really lucky to live on a very water wealthy planet. But less than 1% of all that blue is actually fresh water that's accessible to us. And of course, that water is finite, but our demands for that water are not finite. As you well know, everything we use and wear and buy and sell and eat, right, takes a lot of water to make. 700 gallons to make a simple cotton shirt. Most of those gallons consumed by the cotton plants out in the field. Our morning coffee, 34 gallons a cup. So if we add up all those gallons and multiply by 7.5 billion people on the planet, it's easy to understand why we have river after river after river around the world running dry. So what can we do about this? How can we build a more secure water future? How can we change the course of this depletion that we're on? Well, it's going to take two things. One is figuring out how to shrink, of course, that water footprint, our human water footprint how to live happy, healthy, productive lives while consuming less water. At National Geographic, we created a water footprint calculator that basically shows that if you are an average American, it takes about 2,000 gallons of water a day to keep your lifestyle afloat. So we walk you through your energy choices and your transportation options and your dietary choices, your shopping habits, your water use indoor, indoors and outdoors at home. And we give you some tips on how you can shrink that personal water footprint if you'd like to. Many, if not most of you, are working for companies that are actively attempting to shrink the water footprint of your operations and your products, sometimes not only working inside your four walls, but looking outside, right, to the supply chain and looking for ways to consume less water along the way. And these are critically important first steps, right? We need to be doing these things. But is it enough? Is it enough to replenish the, the aquifers, replenish the rivers, replenish the wetlands? Is it enough to build that secure water future we all know we need to build? And I think we know the answer to that is probably not. Which gets us to the second thing that we need to do, which is to go beyond conservation and beyond efficiency and balance that water footprint by returning some water to the natural world. And if you think about it, this is really the game changer, right? This takes water sustainability into a new realm. This brings water stewardship to a whole new level. And it's the missing piece. It's the big missing piece in building a sustainable water future, in, in changing that course of water for our future. So how can we do this? About nine months or so after we had launched that water footprint calculator at National Geographic, I began to get really agitated. We had built some good online tools. We had, we had built a really educational website. Um, Time Magazine had given it a nice shout out. Nick Kristoff at the, at the New York Times had mentioned it in one of his columns. So the education piece seemed to be happening. 
But as a freshwater conservationist, I was really interested in doing something that made a difference on the ground, and I wanted our program to do that. So how could we take that public outreach and that public education and turn it into healthier flows for rivers? A long story short, I called up an entrepreneurial freshwater biologist named Todd Reeve. He was then vice president. He's now CEO of the Bonneville Environmental Foundation, BEF, in Portland, Oregon. And I had just learned that Todd and his colleagues had created a product called a water restoration certificate. And basically what it does is enable and help businesses to balance their water footprint by returning water to the natural world, by investing in restoration projects. So a light bulb went off in my head. And I called Todd up. And in the course of a very inspired brainstorm session that afternoon, we started to frame out an initiative that brings the public and the business community and conservation organizations together to do those two critical things we need to do to build a water secure future, shrink that footprint and restore water to the natural world. It came to be called Change the Course. And the founding partners are BEF, the National Geographic Society, and participant media. And the mechanics of Change the Course are very simple. We invite the public to make a voluntary pledge to conserve. For every pledge that's made, we promise to return 1,000 gallons of water to a depleted ecosystem. Our corporate partners and sponsors underwrite the pledges and also balance their water footprint by investing in restoration projects. We, change the course, work with conservation organizations to identify those projects that are scientifically sound, offer good ecological bang for the buck, and that need additional funding to happen. And so in this way, we create a kind of virtuous cycle, if you will, of education, conservation, and restoration. And it's working. Five years in, we have now more than 30 companies that have joined with us and engaged in some very creative ways with Change the Course. Uh, just to cite a couple quick examples, the National Hockey League runs a Gallons for Goals program. So for every goal that's scored, 1,000 gallons goes back to an, to an ecosystem in need. Cinemark decided to show one of our short videos at more than 100 theaters across the western United States. Right here in Phoenix, waste management partnered with Change the Course to not only balance the water footprint of the Phoenix Open, but to also engage the attendees at the Open in water conservation. And many companies, from Coca-Cola to REI to White Wave Foods to Intel to many others, have balanced their water footprint by investing in water restoration projects with Change the Course. And we are making a difference on the ground. More than 30 projects are now returning water and replenishing rivers, wetlands, aquifers across North America. This is a photo of the Verde River, just about an hour north of here. Um, a lifeline for fish and wildlife and birds in the American Southwest, tributary to the Colorado River. But because of irrigation diversions, had been running dry. Five, six, seven, eight miles of the river essentially dry during that important irrigation season. So we partnered with the Nature Conservancy of Arizona to install an automated head gate on the, the, uh, the, the ditch system, which basically allows the irrigators to take just the water they need and leave the rest for the river. So thanks to a half dozen companies and our conservation partners on the ground, this very important river now has more than twice the flow in the summertime that it had before. And this, if you think about it, is a multiple win, right? The farmers get more of an upgraded and modernized irrigation system. The community and businesses benefit from more recreational opportunities. And of course, the birds and wildlife benefit from healthier river habitat. So this is where we stand. Nearly quarter of a million pledges, more than 30 corporate partners, more than 30 projects funded across North America that together have returned more than 8 billion gallons of water to depleted ecosystems. Sounds like a lot of water, but as most of you know, that's just a drop in the bucket of what's needed. So I'll leave you with change the course as one idea to think about. 
It's the beginning of a movement to inspire every individual, every company, every organization to do what it can to conserve, but then go beyond and give some water back to the natural world. We think this is the new look of corporate water stewardship. It's a way we can work together to change the course of our water future for the better. And we hope you'll join us. Thank you very much.